So Adobe Premiere CC 2017 is actually one of those very, very light editors on the market today. And if you don't believe me, stay tuned till the end of this video. Okay, so first of all, I have to show you guys the render times of Adobe Premiere versus Vegas Pro 14. All this render testing was done by rendering my intro for 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So, let's get into it. Rendering in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 using 1080p, 60fps, and the H.264 preset, it took exactly 7 minutes. Now, rendering in Vegas Pro 14, 1080p, 60fps, H.264 preset took 16 minutes, and that's the exact same file. Both of them were being rendered the exact same file, which is my intro being rendered for 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So, as you can see, that is already one reason to go with Vegas, and Vegas is definitely lighter than Vegas Pro. So next up here we have scrubbing speed, and I guess you could say editing speed too. When I try to scrub through Adobe, if I set my preview to full, which means it'll it'll the preview is showing me my maximum quality, which is 1080p 60fps, then there is little to no glitching. If I have like five layers of video or something, then there is slight glitching, but most of the time even there is no glitching on full. If I have at least a little decent HDD or SSD, then that'll work fine. But if I try to scrub through Vegas on this same computer, then it takes like ages to scrub through if I set it to full. If I set it to full with one layer, I can just barely watch my video at 5 frames per second. I have to go all the way down to draft quarter for it to even barely scrub through my playback. So as you can see, there is the second point why you should go with Adobe Premiere over Vegas Pro. Next up here is your memory or RAM, which is the same thing. As you can see, when I have my PC idling, it runs at about 3.5 to 4 gigabytes of system RAM, which indeed is pretty normal. Now let's open up Vegas Pro. I opened up the same video we rendered before, the same project I mean, and as you can see it's using 104 to 110 megabytes of RAM. That's just what Vegas Pro is using, just not to confuse you guys. Anyways, now let's open that up, that same project in Premiere. Premiere is using about 490 to 510 megabytes of memory. Now while that may seem bad, it's actually good. You see, Vegas is not taking advantage of that extra memory that I have. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz, and Vegas is just not taking it for some reason. While Adobe Premiere definitely is. Just a quick note so you guys don't think that this is wrong. Adobe works well with 8 gigabytes of RAM too. I tried it before and it, it works fine. So don't think Adobe is going to suck up all your resources. The, the, the thing I'm trying to show here is not that Adobe will suck up your resources and Vegas is light. Uh, the problem is that I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 in there, and Vegas is not even using a little bit of that. And Adobe Premiere is just using that really good. And so that's one big reason why I switched over to Adobe Premiere, because I just cannot get Vegas to run good on this computer of mine, even though I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's just not using it, and Adobe Premiere is definitely way lighter when you're trying to run stuff on older computers. The render time's already shown that, so let's continue from here. Finally, I just wanted to tell you all that these tests were run on an AMD FX 6300 overclocked to 4.1 GHz and an ARX 480 8GB graphics card. Don't worry, I wasn't mining while I did those benchmarks. <laughs> but anyways, that pretty much ends this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I don't know where it is on the screen, but um, I just want to say some channel announcements right away. This camera that I'm using right now is the Nikon Coolpix L840. 
This camera is a 1080p 30fps camera. I render my videos in 60fps, yes, but this camera is a 1080p 30fps camera. I wanted to give you guys just a quick heads up that I will be soon upgrading to... I'm not sure yet. I might go with 4K 30fps, but I'm not sure if I should go with 4K 30fps because my computer is a 6300 and the render times are not that great. 2 minutes and 50 seconds takes 7 minutes to render and that's 1080p. 4K might just make it too long, so I might go with 4K, but I'm most likely going to record in 1080p 60fps still. But the quality will definitely get better. As you can see with this camera right now, uh, if, you, if you look around here, you can see the, all those dots flickering all over the place. That is what I'm going to get rid of. The quality is going to be a lot better. We're going to have blur stuff like, uh, for example... We're going to get a camera that I can use to do focusing on here, making here blurred, and that'll be very good. So we're going to upgrade our quality, and that's really all I want to say. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. There's a really big unboxing coming out, the biggest unboxing I ever did, coming soon. Probably two weeks from now, or probably most likely just one week away. So if you want to see that, subscribe once again. It's probably over here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.